Hello and welcome to this PHP tutorial. Um, this is uh, the second part of um, the arrays uh, tutorial. In this one we're going to be um, talking about multi-dimensional arrays. Um, so let's get to it. If you haven't watched the first tutorial um, of arrays then please go back and watch it because it's hugely important. So the first thing we need to do as you've previously learned already is we're going to make a variable called array and we're going to give it the value of an array. And we open up the square brackets stick a, um, a semicolon on the end and what we're going to do is just going to push this over because the first um, first the key of the first value the key of the first um, one is going to be um, David okay and then what we're going to do is basically make the, uh, the the value of an array so all the information to do with um, David is going to go in this array and what we're going to do is we're going to say um, age equals uh, 31 and then we put a comma on the end and we'll say date of birth equals uh, 15th of 7th 1989 to 87 doesn't make any sense but anyway Okay, so that's the first, the first one done now. So now what we want to do is because that's the first value done, I'm just going to stick a comma here, and then I'm going to say uh, John because that's basically um, the the key here, and then this is the value here, and this is now going to separate the next uh, value. So uh, John equals array and we open up the brackets and we're just going to push this over so we can basically see it nice and easy and we're going to say age equals uh, 29 and then we're going to put the date of birth equals um, 12 of uh, 12 1967 I don't really care um, okay so that's that pretty much done so now you've got um, a key here and a key here with inside this array and the value of this key has another array and then you have the key of age and then you have the value of 31 the key of date of birth and the value of this here and then this array ends and then you've got the separator which is separating the two values because this is one value and this is another value and then once again we'll repeat it we've got a key here and then we've got the value is an array and then we've got the key value key value so what we need to do is have a quick look at this so you don't get confused make sure everything's looking like that and we come down here now we're going to run through the for each loop okay so what we've got is for each um, array as uh, key equals uh, value this is our first for each loop okay what we're going to do is we're basically going to echo the key first of all and we're going to put a break tag on the end so that's now going to echo out David and it's going to echo out um, John okay so next thing we need to do is we need to, to strip down because this value has an array with inside of it so we need to now extract the information from this value so what we do is we open up another for each loop for each value because that is an array as key one because we can't really give it the same name um, and we're basically going to say value one and we're going to basically do exactly the same we're going to say echo whoops value uh, one and then we're going to put sorry we're going to put key one and we're going to put value one and we're going to plonk a break tag on the end of that as well and then in between each um, value with inside the main the main first one the first key we're going to put we're going to echo out a HR uh, line okay control is to save if you take a look at that let's just make sure it's all okay for each key as value blah blah echo key and then break for each value as key one 
because it's the new one, value one, echo key one, value. yeah. Okay, I'm 100% certain that works. Let's pop over to Firefox. Let's refresh and see whether it works. And there it is. Okay, so you've got the first um, key here, and then you've got the second uh, key here. And then this is then the value of this key, and this is the value of this key. Okay, that's pretty much it. Very, very simple. You could put a lot more information in there. You could basically make the age um, having a, a, a multi dimension or an array with inside of it as well. So that's pretty much how it works. This is a quicker tutorial than the first one. If you'd missed the, this information, first of all, this is what you need here. Whoops, let's go back like that. Okay, and that's it pretty much done. Um, it's very, very simple as long as you basically. Um, spread it out right so you can understand it and uh, it's nice and simple and just for the sake of um, showing you let's change this to value 1 and keep, let's get rid of the 1's and control S to save and refresh looks exactly the same but it's just about keeping uh, yourself understanding your code and if you basically keep um, the, if you put the numbers here then you know that it's it's a multi-dimensional array and you're understanding it okay that's the tutorial done i hope you learned something my name is david thorne you can visit me at www.thornawebdesign.de um, obviously i really ask you to subscribe to my um, channel um, because the more subscriptions that i get the more tutorials i will do I, but the main thing is i hope you learn something um, that's me that's it done my name is david thorne and Goodbye.